Hey, what's going on, folks? So I'm going to be reacting to this video about what is a possibility that might happen, which is uh, the fight between Deontay Wilder and Francis Ngannou. So let's just uh, get right into it. It's like, Deontay Wilder, I want you. <laughs> well, if the price is right, of course. I'll go to the octagon with him. Are you going to knock him out or make him tap out? We go both. So Francis Ngannou just went from MMA over to boxing and did well. So why can't Deontay Wilder go from boxing to mix martial arts and do well? Why not? Why not? It's a possibility. It could happen. Last Saturday, 28th, we saw how mixed martial arts overtook boxing. I love that dance. He's like... <laughs> they say there is no man born from his mother that could beat Tyson Fury. Well, they're not wrong because Francis Ngannou wasn't born. He was created in a factory. He's a machine. Remember when John Fury said that? I'm a machine. No, this is the machine. Now we all know who comes next. You know, you always see MMA guys crossing over, but you never see the boxers crossing over. The How about you come to my backyard and have the, we have the business and come to yours and cross over? Ladies and gentlemen, here is the hard Yo, you know what I like about this uh, matchup is that both guys are not, when they fight each other, uh, you know, they come for the knockout. Like Deontay Wilder says, he comes for the knockout, that's what Francis and got. For, they, they don't come to dance around with you for, you know, 10, 12 rounds. If it happens to be that way, it it, it it's just going to be that way. But what they're actually going for is that KO. That knockout victory to, you know, get that highlight reel. So anyway, let's keep going to this. I was ringside yeah. side when Deontay Wilder knocked out Brazil. I was on oh record for that with my brother. He bro. knocked Brazil Dude, bro. so Dude, out of his that back. Guy. Look at look at I, and I've been a lot of I've been in fights. I've been knocked out. I've been at UFC fights where dudes get knocked out. I have never in my life heard someone get knocked out like that. Christ, can that guy punch? Right hand, my God, it's so crazy. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, right. Look at that shot. It landed it above, like, kind of like in the forehead, this area. Yeah. Not, not even on the chin, no. Yo, Deontay Wall is a body collector. He just, he just like collecting people. He's just knocking out. It's crazy. So is Ngano. Man, this, whew, what, this, this fight's going to be good. Usually here, if you're a powerful puncher, you could daze a guy. Yeah. Put him out the way he did. Yeah. Wow. And no mind up too. No mind up. Just right from here. Wow. That's touching that. Crazy. When I speak, things come true. It happened. I told Fury you would have to be perfect for 12 rounds. I would have to be perfect for two seconds. And what happened? Oh, I, I don't think there's anybody in the world that can take Deontay Wilder's power. No one. Even even from the man that beat him, uh, however many times you say uh, that he beat him, is saying that his power is next level. It's crazy. I knocked him out. So your prediction for the fight in Nagano versus Fury? Nagano would you knock out. I've always said he was close. it's not really about titles or records or legacies so i'm gonna go on record and say this i could drink 25 pints of beer and still beat francis and Ghana in a fight when the fight started uh one thing um when we get closer and then when we touch gloves you i'm like let me take you to school i'm like you you are not taking me to school ever since the fury <laughs> Ganu fight was booked no one believed in Ganu. because francis is my man but but no <laughs> Everybody doubted Ngano because you know, just plain and simple, he wasn't he wasn't a boxer, and he was going up against the great. 
the champ. He was going against the champ, the lineal champ, Tyson Fury. So, you know, right, rightfully, I had my doubts too. But, you know, Tyson Fury won. But he got beat up. He definitely got beat up. So, uh, yeah, I, I understand why everybody had their doubts. But, you know, yeah, anyway. Tyson Fury has footwork. He's a tall man with footwork. That's hard to beat. There was a man named Muhammad Ali who was a tall man with footwork. You know how hard it is to hit the guy like that? Yeah, I actually looked it up. Uh, Tyson Fury's six foot nine. Yes. Woo! And if you have to punch up, it is very hard to have power up there. I love Tyson Fury. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm friends with Tyson. He, he's one of the greatest boxers of all time. He is. One of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. Going in against one of my MMA guys. It just, we saw this movie before. We know how this story ends. Imagine, hypothetically, I go out there and knock Tyson Fury out. What do you think will happen for me? Where does that leave me? If you knock Tyson Fury out, you're the biggest combat sports star in the world. Yo, listen. The thing I, I the thing that I love about this I love about uh, Francis Ngano is that he believes in himself and he because when when everybody was like nah there's no way he was just like but what if what if I do what will happen if I do you know and I love that man and he, I tell you what he has that confidence in himself Deontay Wilder has that confidence in himself that Deontay Wilder thinks he's a king you know what I mean. So it's like, yeah, the, the, this match is going to be crazy. Amanda went 10 rounds, delivering the thunderous knockdown in round three, but lost by a single point in a controversial decision. But after that, the whole world took a bow for Ngannou. I don't know what Tyson Fury was doing. I'm still, I'm still completely lost for words. But give Ngannou his shot. I mean, you have to give him the respect. So, unbelievable scenes. I, I cannot believe what we just witnessed. Cut to 265. Mark my words. If Francis Ngannou decides to jump ship and go heavyweight boxing. Careful. Where are you going with this? He will nuke some fools. Nuke some Not fools. Not louder. But he's amazing. But if Francis... He KOs yeah. Owl Sir in the UFC. Overeem. In the UFC. True. True. Yeah. Right, but Ooh. think about that. If I remember Deontay that. Wilder fought Owl Sir Overeem in an MMA fight right now, how do you think that would go? He'd finish him in under a minute. So, <laughs> will Ngannou and Wilder fight in MMA or boxing? Francis Ngannou is back again December 23rd. Back in Riyadh, the middle of Riyadh season, and back in Saudi Arabia. John A. Wilder is a really interesting one because Wilder is the one with the comparable power to yeah. Francis Ngannou. And in theory, he should be better at setting his shots up than Francis was because he's got way more experience. And every Everything Tyson Fury did do Wilder, Francis might be able to do even better. Francis hits harder than Fury, he's better on the inside than Fury, so the blueprint could be there. This is Ngano versus Deontay Wilder. So from what I'm hearing, they talking about doing an MMA match and a boxing match. That's wild, man. That's wild. I think that's, I think that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fun. You know why I am. Yeah. You know what time. You know what place. I ain't scared of nobody. I come to your backyard, baby. So you close your eyes in that hospital room. You're gonna see my face. You're gonna look into my eyes. Over and 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 over Knock me out. What is victims? 79 got knocked out. The one that you are ain't gonna go to your hospital bills. Trust me. I am the king. I am the king. I am the king. So if it comes, it comes. This is a brutal sport. This is not a gentleman's sport. I keep saying this is not a gentleman's sport. We don't ask to hit each other in the face. Cool. You know, if you didn't see the Wilder versus Stiverne fight, you need to watch it because there, there was actually two parts. The first part, when Wilder first came out, he was knocking out everybody. So everybody said that he couldn't box. So when he fought for the belt, which is a uh, which is a uh, him versus Stiverne part, uh, Bermain Stiverne, that's his name, part one. He went the distance with him, you know, didn't have to, but he went the distance with him. When he won, he was like, see, 
I could do it. I have the wind. I have the capability to to do that. So uh, when they did part two, man, he made sure he was like, all right, I did it that way this time. Now I'm going to. And part two was like psh, over in what, like one, two rounds. He knocked him out bad. So, yeah, that was a memorable fight. Watch it if you haven't seen it. Be here. Anybody can go. And on this particular time, we have bad blood against each other. And remember, they're going to be saying a lot of things. But no matter what, you have to remember who the real king is. The best heavyweight in the world. I'm the best yeah. heavyweight in the world. And I don't care what they say out there. Hey, man. I'm the man. What? Yeah, this guy, he has like such a. He's like, I'm the man. <laughs> Most courageous and greatest performances I have seen by an athlete outside of their realm of expertise. You will break your hand on Francis Ngannou to fight the lineal heavyweight champion of the world to a split decision. Francis Ngannou is the baddest man on the planet. One hundred percent. Yo, a side note: I remember when Mike Tyson first got that tattoo on his face. Everybody was like, "Yo," that, that. but now that's just like it's dope. That's just him. That's Mike Tyson. Anyway, I just saw him, and it just reminded me of that time. A thousand percent, Tyson Fury could not fight Francis Ngannou in mixed martial arts in the way that type that Francis fought Tyson in boxing. There's no way a fight between any boxer huh. and the UFC heavyweight champion in mixed martial arts goes to that. By the way, Wilder and Joshua fight. Come on now. Wilder's going to knock him out cold. Decision. Francis Ngannou, everybody he connects on goes night-night. If you're not standing in front of him, man, he's going to hit you with something. Yeah. That's Different the engine. Thing. He's one of those, I'm going to hit you with something. All he needs is to touch you. He just needs, and the more he does it, the more confident he gets in it, the better he is. He's only been fucking training for six years. Is it possible? Let me ask you this. Okay. Is it possible that you go and fight Tyson Fury and then the UFC comes back to you and says, Listen, let's make this right and let's fight John Jones? Is that possible? She it's possible, but it's possible. That's what I want. No, it's possible. <laughs> That's, what I want. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, that would be another dope match if it's uh, Francis Ngannou goes, comes back and. Uh, fights uh john jones that would be whew. and you know i tell you what after you know he's done all the boxing experience so he has a little bit more hands man i, 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 I couldn't even call that fight i would just want to watch it and see you know a good fight you know because john jones is the man and gano is the man you know but anyway uh that's if that ever happens which who knows um but it'll definitely it'll definitely make a lot of money but um wilder and gano here's what i think i think in a boxing match wilder wins in an mma match uh Ngannou wins because there <laughs> everybody has a puncher's chance and gano can beat wilder in a boxing match, just like Wilder can beat Ngannou in an MMA match, because everybody, because at the end of the day, it's a fight, okay, and in a fight, anybody has that puncher's chance, but I would say in a boxing match, if they do boxing, Wilder's going to win, Wilder's going to knock him out, Wilder has more of that boxing experience, his hands are super fast and strong, um, but if they do MMA, then, you know, come on. Ngano, he he has more tools than Wilder does. He's been doing it for a longer time. All he has to do is leg kick him, take him down to the ground, ground and pound him, you know, and then, and then it's night-night for Wilder. But, you know, like I said, boxing, Wilder, uh, MMA, Ngano. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Uh, make sure you subscribe. Drop your uh, comments down below. And... Yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.